good to go. Okay, guys, this is a really exciting show today. Kind of like my armpits are sweaty. That's kind of exciting type of thing. We have David Avocado Wolf on the Little McDermott Radio Show, and we're going to learn a new truth about how to be beautiful from the inside out. This is his new book. So fasten your seatbelt. We are going to learn and grow together. So here we go. There we go. Hello, my listening friends. So nice we can meet each other on the air on this beautiful best day ever. And for those of you who are new to the Little McDermott Radio Show, the purpose of the show is to provide a safe place where you can go to when you need a friend. It is my commitment to provide alternative ways to heal, and it is my mission to make awareness, responsibility, and truth a part of our everyday life. And I hope you, my listening and viewing friends, will feel empowered to embrace a new truth and live the life of your dreams. Now today we're giving away a book and I know, I know, um, okay, I'm just gonna do the 10th caller or texter today and we are giving away this wonderful book called The Beauty Diet, Unlock, in, Unlock the Five Secrets of Ageless Beauty from the Inside Out. And guess who wrote it? David Wolf, David Avocado Wolf. So let me tell you a little story about this. When I first started looking at healthy living and nutrition, David Wolf seemed to be in every single documentary. He was the voice of health, the face of, of veganism, the face of, you know, they all had this person in common. Well, I learned a lot from him at the beginning, but I kind of lost touch with David Wolf, I thought that he was like this big old thing, like out in the universe that was untouchable. Well, anyway, I started learning Food Matters was the first documentary that I saw that I saw David Wolf in. And I learned so much that food does matter. This is the documentary that Dr. Andrew saw, who's been on my show many times. You go to whenyouneedafriend.com to see um, him on my show. And now you get to see David Wolf as well at whenyouneedafriend.com. So here we are, many years later, we're talking like five now, that where my journey seven years ago started, and about five years later, or two years after I started the show, my life changed. Well, David Wolf, these many years later, he is a internationally renowned nutrition and natural beauty expert, a farmer, an advocate, a teacher, an author, and he's on the Lori McDermott radio show and we're giving away his book. And since it is his, uh, our sole purpose in life to give and receive love and knowledge, I am grateful that David Wolf is on the show today to do just that. Welcome, David, to the Lori McDermott radio show. Thank you so much. So excited to be with you here. And we're going to have the best show ever. We are going to have the best show ever. We've declared it. We've proclaimed it. Now, share a little bit about your background and where your passion and because when I read everything about you, it's like grow your own food, grow your own food. Who shared that passion with you? I was born in Tom's River, New Jersey, which if you know anything about Tom's River, they finally got a book out about the pollution that was going on at a chemical plant right there next to the general hospital, literally property next door to the general hospital I was born in. And I grew up right in the midst of that. So it was interesting. My first view of nature was one of the most carcinogenic rivers in America. Both my parents are medical doctors. So just think about that combination. It's a yeah. perfect storm. And very early on, I realized there was something wrong with medicine and something wrong with drugs very early. Like when I was seven years old, I was like, you're not injecting me with anything ever again. I'm, you know, I, I, I hadn't been injected with like anything since I've been seven years old, unless it was like an IV, you know, vitamin C thing or, you know, yeah. something like that or stem cells. So anyway, that, that began my, my journey um, from being inside a doctor's office, growing up inside a doctor's office. I've been to trade medical trade shows since I was four years old. I know what goes on with the pharmaceutical industry. Um, it's not, you know, it's not something that's foreign to me. It's par intimately part of my entire life. And therefore, when I got to that, that age, I realized, you know what, this is what I want to do for a living. And I just struck out. I just struck out on my own and was like, okay, I'm going to, I ended up getting a master's degree in nutrition amongst also have a mechanical and environmental engineering degree and a political science degree and a degree in law. 
Um, but then eventually was like, I don't really I want to do nutrition. Eventually went that way. And th and that's been the whole thing is like alternative healing. What are our choices? What's the possibilities of our diet and food? Brought in the superfood revolution. Currently involved in this beauty diet revolution, especially the charcoal revolution, which yep. has made it definitely many listeners, I bet you are using charcoal toothpaste at this point. Yes. Um, partially in due, due to me because I've been parading this thing strong for years and years and we're making some progress so that's where I come from and eventually we moved to California when I was 10 years old and we moved from the Jersey Shore I'm actually from the Jersey Shore which is like the, where the TV show was from like I'm from that exact town my dad was the doctor in that town he was the only doctor in that town wow and then when I came to California, I started growing my own food and it started in 1978 and you know when we first started visiting my uncle who moved there and then we planted our first avocado trees. I've been growing avocado trees for 40 years. Wow. So that, that's why I get the name David Avocado Wolf. Now I was going to ask you that. That was going to be my question. You must be looking at my notes. And so today <laughs> I have, we are giving away the beauty diet book by David Wolf and be the 10th caller or texter 407-373-5959. Remember, I don't answer my phone. This is my cell phone. I'm giving you 407-373-5959. Be the 10th caller or texter and you will get a copy of the beauty diet unlocking the five secrets of ageist booty beauty from the inside out and we're going to continue our conversation when we return worldwide at when you need a friend.com we'll be right here waiting for you Mic's off. okay good so 40 years of avocado planting 40 years how long does it take from the moment you plant a seed of the avocado tree to the moment you see fruit under ideal conditions and a really good tree, five years. Five years. Normally, for yeah, for a tree to really get going, it's seven years. <laughs> seven years. You know, um, that's a uh, that's amazing. There's uh, so many things that are worth waiting for, but once you put in that effort, seven years will go by, whether you do it or not. Well, you have to do it in order to get that that fruit. It is so nice that. If you were to miss one day of cultivation or the land or taking care of the land, you wouldn't have that fruit. So even though we don't see the results right away, how has that impacted your life, David? Oh, I'm a farmer. I mean, that's my main thing that I do every single morning. Like this morning I was up and I created a um, biodynamic preparation 500, which is, you know, biodynamic farming. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm a certified biodynamic farmer. What is that? So biodynamic. To, what is biodynamic? Bi biodynamic is the highest food standard. It's higher than organic that was developed in the 1920s by Rudolf Steiner. And most of the most popular wines in Europe, like the best, are they're certified biodynamic. Um, it's one of the, it's one of the things that if you're uh, like a running a winery, you're gonna go for the highest standards of quality, and and biodynamics the highest. So okay, I am the only that? certified. Can you, can, you, can you say that slowly? Biodynamic or biodynamic? Good biodynamic. Bio, bio as in biology. Okay. okay. I'm, gonna have to I'm the only that. certified biodynamic vanilla grower in America, actually. No way. So, and my vanilla, I have actually have it close. I should, you want me to grab it? Yeah, Just yeah. Right grab it real grab quick. Yeah, it's right here. Okay, <laughs> this look is at David this. Wolf. So excited. Oh, let me see. Looks like a little lizard in there. Okay. What you got there's there? The, let's see if we can. There's the beans. Look at that. You wow. can see the beans in there. Beautiful. But so, it's the smell, of course, the smell of vanilla is the best of all time. So you distribute, you sell this to distribution companies and then they use it for different powders and products or the extract? Well, it's, I, I don't have enough to sell just to anybody. So it's people who are in the know and who really, they have to kind of beg me for it and be like, I'll pay you 10 bucks a bean. And I, I mean, my beans are fat. You know, these actually are, the, this is the last of my batch, right? When, you know, when I'm, when I have a big batch, uh -huh. they're fat. Like as, some of them are as thick as your finger, your pinky wow. finger, vanilla, juicy, as long as a banana. So those, you know, I'll, I'll like, if somebody's like a chef at a restaurant, they're like, look, I'll pay you 20 bucks a bean. I'll be like, okay. 20 I'll, bucks you know, a bean? Up. Whoa. 20 bucks, yeah. Because I was denied. I remember I, I was um, on the big island of Hawaii 
and there was a vanilla grower there and, and he had the most epic beans until I got into it. I was like, this guy's stuff is great. And he wouldn't even sell it to me. He's like, this is all pre-sold to New York. And I'm like, look, man, here's 20 bucks. He's like, no. And I was like, geez. And so I didn't want to be like that. Um, so if somebody really wants it, I'll be like, okay. Or a lot of times they give them away as gifts, but most of it gets, most of these beans go into chocolate. They go into chocolate at sacred chocolate and other chocolate companies. Very nice. Very nice. Well, okay. So it looks like we're ready to get started and we're going to continue our conversation here live now. Okay. So here we go. Welcome back to the McDermott Radio Show, where we always learn and grow together. Today's teacher is David Wolf. You see him in all these documentaries. He is a maverick. He's out there teaching so many different people. It's amazing. I was watching some videos, getting re- prepared for David to be on the show, and I'm thinking, this guy talks like me. How could that be? And, and maybe he's thinking, this girl talks like me. How could that be? Well, it's amazing. We must, be, we must have been brothers from another mother somewhere along the way. I need to talk to my mom. There's a lot of these coincidences that are happening. Today, the 10th caller or texture, 407-373-5959, will get a copy of David Wolf's latest book called The Beauty Diet, Unlock the Five Secrets of Ageless Beauty from the Inside Out. This is an exciting conversation. This man is so well renowned. He's so world, he's world renowned. He's doing so much to save our environment. So David, you're so busy. You've got farms. You've got so many things that you're doing. Why write this book? Why now? It, it was really my publisher. My publisher was like, you got to write this book. And I was like, look, I'll write this other book. So I wrote this other book. They didn't like it. And, and that was on colors and the color pigments in nature, which is eventually I'll get that book out. Very, very comprehensive, very scientific book. Then I wrote a book on charcoal. They didn't like that. They're like, no, we want the beauty diet. So we finally got together on the beauty diet, which is a subject I've been studying and working on for 20 years. It's not just like, oh, I'll just write this and this, you know, whatever. It's a very deep research project been going on for years. And of course, where I ended up is most of us agree now that the best diet for beauty long term is Mediterranean diet. Oh, okay. Um, Mediterranean diet's going to keep your, you know, it's olive oil, right? It's all those amazing herbs from the Mediterranean region, whether it's thyme or oregano or rosemary or whatever those, those herbs are that they really strongly include in Mediterranean diets. Those, those terpenes, those active alkaloids or medicinal compounds there really have a very strong effect on protecting our tissues, keeping us younger, longer, and more beautiful as we age. The oleic acid in olive oils were very well known for that project, for that process, that the, as you age, you actually become more beautiful. Your skin becomes more supple, and you can be 60 and looking better than ever. I mean, how good is that? That's my um, plan. So it's not... Yeah, right. That's where that's where we want to be. And it's not just that; it's everything we've learned. Right, the charcoal, the power of charcoal. So I had to take all that charcoal stuff from the other book. I was like, okay, I got to put it in this book. Sure. And charcoal is the best detoxifier there is. It's number one of anything you could go into a, like a store and be like, okay, what am I going to buy to improve my health? Activated charcoal. First of all, in small amounts, you start with like 500 milligrams and you yeah. work your way up. So small, you know, small amounts to begin with. It's the most powerful longevity substance ever discovered. And we're not told that story. We are not told that story. In science, this has been known for 60 years and very well researched. Mm-hmm. Animals that eat charcoal live longer and live healthier. And even if they start late, because like a, a mouse lives two and a half years. So even if you start a mouse at two years already, they still can get an extra six months or a year of life. That's so substantial. I mean, it's common in science for mice to live, to extend their lifespan to be extended 34%, 43%, even as much as 47% from taking activated charcoal. And you're thinking, what, what does that have to do with anything? Because detoxification is more important even than nutrition. Nutrition is very important. But as we age, we have to make sure our body's detoxifying correctly. You know, it's interesting because there's so much information out there, David. Who do you believe? Who do you trust? And it's it's very confusing. And one of the reasons that um, I do the show the way I do is I want to present 
you know, both sides sometimes, but when you learn a new truth and you realize that you've been lied to from the moment you were born, you're domesticated into believing this falsehood so that somebody else can make money, but then everybody's trying to sell something. So that uh, right there, kind of like, that's my, 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 ser my series of, you know, is this true? Is this not true? What do you profit? So here's the thing with charcoal and, and, um, I've heard that charcoal can be harmful to the body, like people who grill their meats. If there's charcoal in the vegetables, they're saying that's not good for you. Share what you've learned about charcoal, which you talk about removing toxins in the body or detoxifying. You know, um, talk, let's talk about charcoal and why it detoxifies the body. Good. Okay. So I'm not talking about like um, fry, you know, like the, the nitrosamines of like good. charred meat, Great. or I'm not talking about. Um, Toast, because toast, especially, yeah. you know, dark toast actually does have very good absorptive abilities, but I'm not talking about that. What I'm talking about is a charcoal made from a hard wood. And most of the charcoals, like what's used in every emergency room in America, is activated charcoal made from coconut shell, okay. which is a hard wood. And this material has a very adsorptive quality. So it's not absorptive, it's adsorptive. It pulls to itself essentially everything that is strongly positively charged in your body. Charcoal is very negatively charged. The earth itself is negatively charged. Yes. The atmosphere is positively charged. That's where we have like thunder and lightning and stuff. Yeah. And we're, an, we're supposed to actually have very strong negative charge. And as we age, it gets more and more positive. And when, it, when it's the worst, the worst part of the year is when we start getting static electricity. And that's when we have too much positive charge and then our immune system breaks down and next thing you know, we have a cold and it's November, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. But charcoal always is providing that negative polarity. So it's actually acting like an extra liver or an extra kidney. Mm -hmm. And it is the number one thing by far for kidney disease. I mean, there's no, I get to, you know, by the time someone gets to me, right? They've been through all the, all the medical system. They finally went like, okay, this, that, there's no solutions here for me. You know, they finally get to like watching these documentaries. They finally get to me. They're like, you look, I've got like 13% kidney function. I'm on dialysis. What do I do? And that's the people that get to me. I'm like, okay, I'll tell you what to do. We've got one tool that we know works and that is activated charcoal because it can help filter off your blood. It's called interstitial dialysis. Now, that's the very medical part of charcoal. And by again, charcoal is used in every emergency room as a first line of defense against poisoning. Mm. which that right there should tell us something yes, about yes. we have so many toxins where we don't even realize like the number one carcinogen is what we're breathing in from automobile exhaust. Mm. We don't even realize that. We never talk about it. Um, it should be talked about. We got to help our body to detoxify. So eating raw foods, eating less, eating Mediterranean foods, having definitely more liquids in our diet. These are the things that we get into in the beauty diet. And that's really the core of it. And that's where, and what the effect is, is yes, you can look more beautiful longer, but you'll have more energy. And that's a, that's what people want. Yeah. And, you know, I, I just, the, there's charcoal filtration for your water. I mean, these are, when you're talking about toxicity and the chemicals that are in our body, many of those chemicals, we can't live without, you know, plastic. We're talking about our water that has fluoride and, and, uh, and chlorine in it. So how can we detoxify the water with the, with the chlorine, with the uh, charcoal as well? Is that your preferred method of detoxifying water? Yes, it is. That's number one line of defense is activated charcoal in a water filter. That's always in there. You know, any water filter that you have is going to have an activated charcoal layer or section or tube or, or whatever. And then, you know, we've got to start thinking about our bodies. We've got to be like, look, if we don't get a filter, if we're not filtering that water that's coming at us with chlorine in it or our food, my God, you know, what they're spraying on food, 20 different pesticides, we're going to become the filter. Yes. Right. If we don't get a filter, we're going to become a filter. So we've got to protect our body. And that's why we always choose better quality because you want to like start filtering and being like, Hey, I'm not going to eat that because that's just not good enough quality food. Mm -hmm. But then eventually you start going, my God, what if I, what's in my body right now? What can I do to detoxify my body? And out of everything that I've looked at in my whole career, nothing beats charcoal. It's the simplest, most basic detoxification agent and the safest and you're talking That's about taking topic. it in a capsule form, a pill form, 500 milligrams every day? 
Yes, every day. So I, and in, let's say you have very sensitive digestion, then you want just charcoal, not activated charcoal, because mm-hmm. I have very tough digestion. So I can take, I can drink 10,000 milligrams of activated charcoal every day. My, I don't notice anything, you know, but the other <laughs> people are like, my God, if I had a thousand milligrams, I get constipated. It's a drying agent. That's another yeah. thing too, is charcoal is a drying agent. So very important if you have to like diarrhea for something, you know, that is the best thing. Boom, charcoal, charcoal, charcoal. You have food poisoning, charcoal, charcoal, charcoal. That's how we normally use it. But then we have to think about all the years that we ate the wrong thing and all the chemicals we've been exposed to. We've got to start reversing that. And we take you through in the beauty diet, we take you through the steps of doing a detox. Mm -hmm. And, And that means eating less, eating more raw foods, eating more liquid food, blending your food more. You know, my ma- main thing that I've done for years is the Nutribullet. I co-developed yes. that product. And really? that get, the testimonials we have gotten over the years at Nutribullet just from people doing one or two meals a day liquid would, would boggle the minds of anybody. I mean, complete recovery from conditions because somebody's doing a blueberry, kale, coconut water shake every day. And, you know, which means they're actually getting their five fruits and vegetables in, yeah. right? Because yeah. most Americans, we say, oh, we're getting our fruits and vegetables. When we analyzed the data, we found out it was actually, we're getting two fruits and vegetables in a day as Americans. That is exactly. not enough. You've got to have five or more. It's sad. It's sad. Dr. Joel Furman is a regular on my show, and he says the standard American diet couldn't have been designed better by Al Qaeda to kill us all. So this, these are things that you know, wonderful teachers that I've had on my show. Now, the detoxifying is your second step. You talk about the foods that are, you know, the few foods that cause beauty that help. You have the superfoods that are the fruits, and then you have the super herbs. So let's talk a little bit about that before we go on the break, because there's so much. There's so much information. By the way, we're talking to David Wolf. Be the tenth caller or texter four zero seven three seven three five nine five nine, and you will win a free copy of the Beauty Diet. So let's talk about these superfoods that are so that give us the most bang for our buck. One of the best ones is aloe vera. If you want to live a long, beautiful life and healthy skin and just be glowing, aloe vera. I'm an aloe vera grower, have been for years because of that. It's just amazing. I fillet them myself. You fillet it just like a fish. Fillet the skin off, get the gel out, throw that in a blender, blend that up, put it on your skin, put it, do whatever you want with it. I like to eat it a lot. In the beginning, it's a strong laxative. Be careful. Don't eat the skin. Um, <laughs> and don't, don't get in a car. If you're new to aloe vera and you're like, oh, I'll just do an aloe vera smoothie and take this in the car and all of a sudden you're in traffic, you're in trouble. <laughs> you're going to be in trouble. And that's, this is something as a nutritionist, I can say this, that we, that's a big part of staying young and beautiful is you've got to have movement every day. You've got to be regular. And that means three a day, three. I want everybody three, you have three meals a day. You're going to have three bowel movements a day. If you're doing that, you're, you're in great shape. Aloe vera helps. Other ones are the super algaes, the chlorellas, the spirulinas, the blue green algaes. There's even marine phytoplankton, many different, 200 different species that are edible that mm-hmm. are on the market today. So I always try to get some little sampling of those in. Of course, cacao and chocolate and organic raw chocolate and all the great things you can put in the chocolate. That's where the super herbs come in. Yeah. So, because, right, we can only eat so much in a certain day. So you got to kind of get it in. Like every day, I've got, you know, look, boom, I got my Nutribullet right here with you know, all the goodies in there, including activated charcoals in there. People ask me about activated charcoal. Number one question I get is, does it block healthy nutrients? And the answer is no. We have no evidence in 60 years of research that it blocks healthy nutrients, including B vitamins, vitamin C, vitamin D3. Um, all the major minerals go through with the charcoal. So that's very interesting. It's almost like selective as to what it detoxifies. And then let's talk quickly about the super herbs. And, you and don't we're need gonna, to. We're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna have to interrupt here. We're gonna continue okay, our conversation okay. with David Wolf. And remember, fifth, uh, tenth caller or texter, 407 373 5959, doing the beauty diet by David Wolf. And we're gonna continue our conversation with David when we return worldwide at whenyouneedafriend.com. Mike's off. Okay, now you can keep going. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Yay, awesome. 
Okay, so the super herbs are really, that's kind of where you get to after all these years of like being, you know, super picky about diet. And then next thing you get into superfoods like goji berries and cacao and all the super algaes and aloe vera and hemp seed and chia seed and those kind of things. Then eventually you're like, okay, well, what's, where's the rubber hit the road? What's the real stuff? Then you get to the herbalism. We don't need, you know, herb number 500 on the list. We're not getting there. Who cares? Mm -hmm. We want herb number one. What are like the top five herbs that have been identified in the world? And those are the super herbs, like the top 25 or top 50 really. And those are my favorites. Well, big you, one. The you talk about one on, in the book that I have never, ever heard of. And one of my best friends, oh, well, my, my say best friend, is they're from India. And the herb you talk about is amla, which is an Indian gooseberry. So it's a gooseberry, yeah. Gooseberry. Okay. I, I, I thought it was, I, I wrote gooseberry, but a gooseberry. So t tell us about the, the potency or why we would have this uh, herb. And what is Every it herbal like? system. Yeah, it, it tastes good, right? Berries taste good. I think that's probably of the human race, that's our most natural food. Every herbal system in the world, whether it's Amazonian, European folk herbalism, Ayurveda, it, um, it, well, let's go to um, Native American herbal systems. They're always in the top five Chinese herbal systems. In the top five, you're always going to have one berry. And in Ayurveda from India, you have amla berry. It's a gooseberry. We have gooseberries always growing around. You know, we don't even realize all this food that's around us. And gooseberries are super high vitamin C. Usually that's the characteristic. Mm -hmm. so they have high pigmentation and good flavor and high vitamin C, which we need that. You know, think of the days before vitamin C was isolated and ancient times a thousand years ago. You need that vitamin C for tissue repair. That's one of the most basic human needs for rejuvenation. Plus, berries and fruit in general is associated with happiness. It's a high vibrational energy. And that's something that needs to be said as we go into the summer times. You gotta have fruit to be happy. It's part of being happy. You, you know, hear so much stuff, oh, I can't have the sugar, but you know. But you, you know, there, there's a difference. They'll say, oh, I can't have the sugar, but then they'll eat a candy bar. And by the way, yeah. I, I want to identify here that the chocolate that you're talking about has nothing to do with Hershey's or the sugary, because that's a deadly combination when you add the that sugar combo. the cacao. So, you know, when we come back, uh, we're about to get started here. When we come back, maybe we can address that. I first need to identify my, my show, how do people get a hold of me, and then I'll reintroduce you again. Is that okay? Okay. Here Great. we go. Okay. Welcome back to the Little McDermott Radio Show, where we always learn from one another. Today's teacher is David Wolf. You can hear us worldwide at whenyouneedafriend.com. I want to encourage you to be the 10th caller or texter at 407-373-5959. Win a free copy of David Wolf's book called The Beauty Diet, Unlock the Five Secrets of Ageless Beauty from the inside out. And that's what people forget. It's the inside out. Many people spend a lot of money trying to look great, but the inside is not quite there. It's very costly. If you work from the inside out, it's less expensive, guarantee you. This is the kind of conversation we have at whenyouneedafriend.com. I wanna encourage you now, right now, if you haven't done so, do it now. Go to whenyouneedafriend.com please become a subscriber. Check out everything, all the wonderful teachers that we've had on the show that have taught us a new truth. You know, what you used to believe as a child supported you as a child, but it may not support you today because we've been lied to. I hate to say it, but that's what it is. You know, my registered service mark is you can take a pill or you can take responsibility. I'm not against the pill. I am for doing everything you can so that you can have beauty from the inside out. Go to whenyouneedafriend.com, become a subscriber. And when you do so, you get my 90 day challenge to self-love ebook and you get lots of gifts and lots of lessons from our teachers. So go there, it's a free website. I protect your identity, never sell every, anything. So if you haven't done so, do it right now, whenyouneedafriend.com. While you're there, please check out my sponsors. Without my sponsors, they, this show would not happen. So please make sure that you support them the way they're supporting the show. And there's also lots of stuff to play around at whenyouneedafriend.com. There's a store. You can get David's book at whenyouneedafriend.com as well. And 
so that you know, like me on social media, like me on YouTube page. There's so many things that you can do. Share the word, spread the word so that we can continue to grow together. And last but not least, again, I'm just going to remind you, 10th caller or texter, 407-373-5959, The Beauty Diet, Unlock the Five Secrets of Ageless Beauty from the Inside Out. David Wolf is our special guest today who has, you know, he has over 10 million followers on Facebook. That's huge for anybody who is in the public eye. That's huge. So why would he even come on the show? Passion. That is passion. So thank you so much, David, for being on the Lone McDermott Radio Show today. Thank you. I love this subject. And I, I literally do this all day, every day. It doesn't matter if, I, if I'm in front of four people or 80 or 800 or 1,000. It doesn't matter. It's just, it's always been fun for me. And it's, it, you never know. I mean, you put the message out there. You talk about fruits and vegetables, nuts, seeds, seaweeds, grasses like wheat grass, you know, all this stuff. When people start to incorporate it, it becomes part of the lexicon of their life major things happen and the testimonials I've received, the people I've met over the years who come back to me and like, oh, eight years ago I was I had this condition. Now, you know, I changed my life around in a year. Now I'm this and I've done this and I sailed the world. I had one guy from Florida years ago who had wanted to get his health back to sail the world, which he in fact did. It was, you know, such an amazing thing all those years ago. And it just those things are what keep driving you. You know, it's it's interesting. That same passion that you're talking about was instilled in me when somebody challenged me to go raw vegan for one month on the show. I had been doing the show for two years. And when I first started, it was all about being a friend and being a compliant patient. What's the latest in pharmaceuticals and all of that until three or four days after I started eating raw vegan, I was like, wow, if food can make me feel this good, what else is out there? That's when I saw your documentary, Food Matters. And it completely changed not only my life, but it changed the show too. And hopefully I brought some people in my journey because I am on a journey. I'm on a journey to learn a new truth. And it's, and I encourage people to verify everything that is said on the show, because this is my truth. And I've researched this truth, but they need to make it their own truth. My listening friends, my following friends, they need to make it their own truth. So with that in mind, David, you know, you were talking about, you know, chocolate off the air. And by the way, um, tenth caller or texter, win a copy of the book, 407 373 5959. But our YouTube video today is going to give you even more information from what we discuss on the air, off the air. Specifically, we're talking about chocolate. I just want to say it on the air, too, for people who may not go to the website to listen to this video. Chocolate and sugar combination. Can you share the damage that does? Talk about inflammation, which is one of the topics that you talk about in your book. It's so. a bad combination. Fat and sugar together keeps the sugar in your blood longer. And it it's basically can trigger off candida. It can trigger off anxiety because, right, the sugar's hanging around too long in the blood. And then when it's chocolate, you know, with that sugar, it that's it's kind of a bad combination for most people. So what we recommend is dark chocolate, bitter chocolate, chocolate with herbs in it, chocolate with super herbs in it. That's where it's really at. We were in Peru. I just got back. I just got back a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. And one of the things they mix in there, they have chocolate coca, you know, then coca itself is, you know, you have to have that at high altitude. We're up at above 10,000 feet for weeks hiking in Incan Trail. It's full on. And coca can be mixed directly with chocolate, no sweetener, nothing else added. And it's good. It tastes good. That's the kind of chocolate we're talking about. Where you're taking chocolate and reishi mushroom, you're taking chocolate and chaga mushroom, you're taking chocolate and whatever it is that you are looking to, you know, a cayenne pepper, for example, a great one. But oh. you do that with that with the sugar way down or non-existent, and you're going to feel a lot better, get much more of the benefits, and feel better about your choices. Because whenever we go to like you know, a cane sugar or a, just a refined sugar, it's always going to be problematic for our system. It's going to trigger off essentially all the bad guys, parasites, virus, yeast, fungus, mold. They love sugar. They're like, oh, we want sugar. And we don't want them having a free lunch like that. So if you're going to have sugar, look, have fruit, right? Have berries. Don't go to this other refined stuff. Very, very harmful. That's one of the key teachings of beauty because when you have too much sugar in your system, it's going to cause 
damage it's going to cause the the cross linking and the the browning reaction where yes. you start getting wrinkles from that right i know i know Bad and combination and that's the thing you know we have been so lied to about these things convenient foods and you know how can we satisfy our hunger very quickly disposable we're not thinking about the future we're not thinking of what's next for us when i turned 50 i said i want the next 50 years to be better than the first and so those you know those are the kind of commitments that we make to ourselves that once you declare it the information that comes to us, we have to change our life. We can't continue doing what we're doing because we'll get the same results that we've gotten before. And, you know, many of us think that growing old means that we're going to get dementia, diabetes, heart disease. But in your book, that is not true. So let's, let's talk All a little bit about that. All preventable. All exactly. preventable. Uh, heart disease, absolutely preventable. Dementia, Alzheimer's, absolutely preventable because they found out that these things start 20 years before mm -hmm. and they start because we've got carcinogens in our body, toxins in our brain. We haven't done any detoxification. We're loaded with chemicals. And it, when I say loaded with chemicals, I'm talking about hundreds of artificial chemicals in our bodies. We've yeah. got to turn it around so we, we avoid ingesting those things. So we have pure organic fruits and vegetables. Grow your, grow your own. We have pure nuts, seeds, seaweeds. I only, I only get seaweeds from Iceland at this point. Yeah. I get, I, I, I <laughs> That's the best I, place. I'm moving to Iceland, by the way. Iceland is amazing. What an amazing country. I was just traveling with an Icelander in Peru for six weeks. Old wow. friend of mine. Um, what an amazing country and great group of people. And, and they still have that connection. It's very interesting. They understand food quality. That's why I like going there so much is they're like, look, our dull seaweed's the best in the world, which it is. Um, their, their farming in Iceland is still, you know, like it was way back a thousand years ago. So they have that connection to purity, especially water too. Their drinking water is the best in the world. Yeah. I mean, that's what we, we got to aspire to that. And that's something too, that's important about this whole movement is you're, you're, it's like you set a goal, you get a goal. You aspire to have pure water. You aspire to have pure food. You aspire to have clean air to, to, to breathe. And, and sure enough, as the, as the ways of the world work and the laws of manifestation, they come about into your life. And then you, you gradually, it's like adding the, in the good stuff. You add the good stuff and it gradually crowds out all the bad stuff. Yes, That's yes. how we want to think about it. It's easy. Well, you know, it's like, I, I, what, there's so much about this book that I want to talk to you about, but we're, our time is so limited. Now, I just want to recap that we've talked about um, the, the foods inside and out, the, the how to eat for beauty, and then we talked about removing toxins, but you also address water, nourishing our cells. And I know we got a little bit left on this segment, so share a little bit about hydration, the importance of hydration. Two things required for hydration, water and electrolytes. Mm -hmm. Now, the best source of electrolytes is going to be a sea salt or even like a Himalayan salt. Yep. That's Every other electrolyte product you see on the market is essentially a designer sea salt, which you're better off just with sea salt. It's more bioavailable. It's easier. And you're going to drink less water because you're going to be more hydrated. If you have too much salt, you can become dehydrated. If you have too much water, you can also become dehydrated. So you need the the balance of both. That's a very key teaching. And once you do that, you have more energy for your workouts. You're going to be able to have to take a cup like this into your workout. And that's all the water you're going to need for an hour long workout. I have some of my favorite workout places in the world, by the way, are in the state of Florida, Delray beach. Oh, well, you're going to have to come and visit. We'll do a little, uh field trip to Delray Beach. And we're going to continue our conversation. Be the 10th caller or texter, 407-373-5959 and win a free copy of The Beauty Diet by David Wolf. We're going to continue our conversation worldwide at whenyouneedafriend.com. We'll be right here. Oh, I it's cut off. <laughs> this is the first time in a long time this has happened. I was trying to get everything in there. Okay, David. So Delray Beach. I'm going to be going to um, a conference in Hollywood, uh, so I'll be driving right by Del Rey Beach. Love that place. I believe that's where I became um, Advanced Water Certified. Maybe it was Vero. I'm trying to remember. But um, 
it's it's a beautiful place in Florida. I didn't even know beautiful, that. They- beautiful spot. There's a great workout place that I always go to when I'm in the area called Slash Fitness. Yeah. Slash Fitness. Jot that one down. Uh, yeah. It's a 45 minute workout. I mean, you get in there, you know, five, a few minutes early and a few minutes after. So it takes like an hour, but it's a 45 minute nonstop workout. That's all you just go for 45 minutes straight, which is so great. It's so much fun. And they got you doing different stuff every time. So it's, it was worked out by a friend of mine at IHP fitness. I don't know if you know, um, what, what's the name? JP. JP Sears. There. Oh no, yep. no. JP Sears. No, not, no, that JP Sears. You're thinking of the comedian. Well, I think that's, I don't, um, I don't think he goes, to, I think he's, I, I, <laughs> Or, or yeah, a spiritual, a spiritual guru. Healer. Um, that makes us laugh I'd while we're spitting out our food. Yeah. IHP Fitness, and let me get this. Let me see right here. It is. It's in Boca. Um, okay. Anyway, this guy is amazing, and he did, he worked out how to get the ideal workout done in forty five minutes, and then Slash Fitness ran with it, wow. and they've been doing it as part of their system. It's really cool setup that they've got there. Well, and I'm going to have to start stalking you. It. So next time you're in Florida, we're going to have to do some field trips together. <laughs> yes. Workout field trips are always the best. It's JC. What's his last name? I, I, JC over at IHP Fitness, which he's right there. He's close. And Slash Fitness is right down the road from him. And I was do though both those. JC is one of those guys who's like, okay, you're going to pull the sled in the parking lot now. Oh. Then we're going to go in and we're going to do – you know, 10, 10 sets of, you know, squats. Then we're going to do pull-ups, three sets of that. I mean, it's just always crazy and random and fun. Yeah. And as a certified life coach, I would take this guy and go, so tell me what happened to you that you feel like you have to torture me today. So <laughs> yeah, I know it's so, and, and as you, I, I don't know about you, but as I found, as I got, you know, I'm almost 50 now, I get to the oh, point now famous. where if I don't, if I don't do crazy psycho workouts, I don't even feel like I did anything. It has to be like so full on. That's how my body is. I don't know. Uh, uh, you know, I, I do need to change my diet. I want to quickly talk to you about iodine. Just recently, I was introduced to iodine. And um, th- there are a lot of iodine products out there. And perhaps maybe once I turn off my recorder later on, when we finish the show, you can share with me what would be a good brand of iodine that I could um, adopt to my routine because um, I just ran out of the iodine that I was doing and and it seems like it's working for me. Um, so another thing I want to talk about maybe before, after the show, just so it's, it's uh, candida. You had mentioned candida. I believe most everybody has candida, especially people who are aging, which I believe is a, a leader to dementia. You know, it, you know, gets that you know, they're calling dementia now uh, diabetes three. And, um, and so I, I would love to address candida after the show. And I will tease, you know, I will let people know that you're going to be talking. Is that okay? Okay. Absolutely. It looks like we're about to get started here. So this is our last segment, David, right? Oh, I just want to make sure this is our last segment. Can, oh, can, uh, can Robert, can you uh, let me know this is our, our, our fourth segment? Yes, it is our fourth segment. My gosh, we're going to have to have you back. Okay, so here we go. Welcome back to the Little McDermott Radio Show, where we always learn and grow together. And today's teacher is David Wolf, the author of The Beauty Diet. Well, this is one of the things that he does. He is uh, world-renowned. He's out there, advocate for all of us, making sure that we learn a new truth about hemp and CBD and uh, nutrition and growing your own food. And that is so important. His biggest message, one of his biggest messages, you, you've been all over the world doing all a bunch of things. But it seems like that, that the message of that new truth, which is what we promote here on the Lil McDermott Radio Show, and how important it is to know the things we don't know we don't know. So I see you nodding your head. Uh, it's one, it, of, one of those things is, is this whole thing. It's dysbiosis or the, the problems we have with our microbiome or otherwise known as candida mm. and where we have too many harmful bacteria and yeast in our oral cavity and our, in our gut. It, it, a lot of women are aware of this because of, of yeast overgrowth. And it's, and all of a sudden you start realizing, Oh, if I touch that wine or that sugar, it's, it triggers it. And there are triggers, different triggers. 
And this is, this is, it's a warning sign. It's telling us something that we've had too much carbohydrates in our diet and that we've got to shift our microbiome. So we are, we're farming bacteria is what we've discovered. That's mm -hmm. one of the, been, been one of the biggest discoveries of the 20th century is that we, we consist of mostly bacteria. Most, there's more DNA of bacteria in our bodies mm -hmm. than DNA of us. Yeah. So we have to farm them and get them into a friendly environment and also get them into an environment where they don't, the bad guys don't overgrow. And that with, that's what we have to really pay attention to our nutrition. That's actually one of the things that is waking people up about nutrition more than anything. They're like, if I eat that, if I eat this, if I eat this, I react. And that means we have a dis, what's called a dysbiosis. We have too many bad guys in the microbiome or too many bad bacteria. And that's where we start bringing in the cultured food. Uh, one of my favorite um, people to work with is Donna Gates. She wrote the Body Ecology Diet. We've mm -hmm. done videos together on YouTube. Was a wonderful woman. And she helps people with very severe digestive distress. And what we worked out over the years is you have a cultured food like sauerkraut, a real live sauerkraut with mm -hmm. real friendly bacteria on it, and a protein. And then you have another sauerkraut and another protein. And then you have another sauerkraut, and maybe it's going to be um, uh, an avocado. And those are kind of the three meals a day that you can really have. To, if you're really broken down and you're like, I, if I eat salad, I'm, my body's going to react. If I eat sugar, anything, my body's going to react. We have to be very, very cognizant and just aware of what is agreeing with our body and what is not. And these changes, uh, they can be slow, but they will eventually affect a complete cure of these types of dysbiotic or bad bacteria conditions where we have too much yeast in our system or too, or whatever the bacteria is or whatever the fungi is or any of them, virus even, mm -hmm. we can bring those levels down, but we have to focus on a complete strategy. And, and by the way, that complete strategy is actually in the beauty diet. It's, it's all yes. there. Absolutely. And be the 10th caller or texter, 407-373-5959. I've got a copy of the book, but you want one? Call 407-373-5959, 10th caller or texter, The Beauty Diet, unlock the five secrets of ageless beauty from the inside out. Now, David, I want to make sure that we just like take these, these five steps um, and, and the, we're talking about real quick hormones because I do want to talk about candida, but when we get off the air, I want you to give us some tips on how do you know you have candida, but for now, let's talk about hormones. Hormones are so important. We've been lied to about our hormones too. Don't eat, you know, don't have this, don't have that because it, it, it gives you too much estrogen. You know, there's progesterone keeping the balance and also testosterone. So give us a little quick glimpse of what you talk about in the book. One of the most important anabolic hormones is vitamin D3. It's one of the most powerful epigenetic substances ever found. That means it turns on genes, at least, at least 3,000, maybe as, more as, four, as much as 4,000 genes that are involved in health and healing. So that's sunlight, right? So that's a hormone right there. The next one, and a very important one for women, is progesterone. If your progesterone goes down, generally it's like for a man, it's testosterone. For a woman, it's progesterone. If those go down, we start aging. And we know that for sure. My friend, Dr. U, Princeton University, toxicologist, MD, amazing guy. He worked out over the years that this estrogen replacement therapy isn't the way we want to go at all. We want to actually stay with the anabolic hormones, like for women, progesterone, and for men, testosterone. So we want to nourish to build those up. One of the best foods to do that actually is, is ghee which is a very powerful longevity substance, very strongly recommended in Mediterranean and Ayurvedic nutrition. It's a, where you get the, the butter fat only, not mm -hmm. you get rid of all the protein fractions. So if you have milk allergies, but the key thing there is the cholesterol molecule, which is the base beginning of all hormones. There's seven different types of cholesterol. Mm -hmm. One of them is a, is a toxic variety, but the other six you need and you really need that. So you have to be very careful. And if, if you're a vegan, you can get go long as a vegan, but if you start running out of cholesterol, that can cause a problem. So that's why Vedic civilization thousands of years of vegetarianism, the Jain religion, 10,000 years, which is a vegan religion, mm -hmm. they learned that if there's something you need from the animal kingdom, you need that cholesterol molecule because that's what builds progesterone and testosterone. Very key teaching there. Then the next piece about that is we've got to make sure we have enough DHEA, which mm -hmm. comes a lot from DHA, which mm -hmm. is an omega-3 fatty acid. Um, so I like, actually, I, and the way I remember this, and this is something to, to consider, always when you think of omega-3, you need three of them. 
ALA, hemp seed, chia seed, flax seed. We know about that one. We hear about that a lot. Yeah. DHA is a marine algae or, or a marine um, omega-3, and it, can, it arises from algae and comes up through the food chain into fish. Mm-hmm. And you can get it from fish, fish oil, or you can go back down the chain and get it from algae, which is the vegan way to do yeah. it, which is the way I do it. Yeah. And then EPA is another one like that. It's a marine algae. It's a marine source. It's a marine omega three. Comes from algae originally, and then works its way up the chain into marine life, like fish. So you can get it from the algae or the fish. I prefer to get it from the algae because the further it goes up the chain, the more pollutants and toxins and Correct. cadmium Correct. and arsenic and all this other stuff. So those key things right there produce DHEA, which is a memory hormone, Mm -hmm. very important anti-aging and very important to keep our cognition late into life so that we're sharp in our 90s, which we want to be. We want to be sharp in our 90s. That's right. That's right. So when you're talking about the algae, is there a particular algae that you uh, address for the, that you desire or prefer for DHA and EPA? Well, the one that has the high DHA in it is called Nanochloropsis gadatana. Um, Did you just curse me? Did you just do like a Harry Potter kind of curse? Yeah, that was like Harry Potter level stuff. Nanochloropsis. I just turned into a frog, David. (laughs) (laughs) I've got my spell book here right with the vanilla. Um, The vanilla vanilla bean. Okay, and and then for EPA? And then EPA usually comes from a red seaweed and this name, the species name right off the top of my head, I can't quite recall it, but it's, it is available now, those together. Now, if you have enough DHA, you can produce some EPA from it. But if you don't have DHA and you only have ALA, like hemp seed oil or flaxseed oil or primrose oil or board seed oil, you, it's very hard to produce DHA. So DHA is actually very strong importance, very important, strong for eyes and brain and all of that anti-aging, and it drives into the hormones. Mm-hmm. And then there's then we have to make sure we keep our estrogens in balance. And the way we do that, again, is those the really powerful ones like testosterone and progesterone neutralize toxic estrogens at a ratio with progesterone of 300 to 1. Okay. Okay. There's so much. So the, the, the fifth secret is, or the beauty t- uh, diet is about stress and overcoming stress. And we're just going to have to take this conversation off the air. David, it's been such a pleasure. I just want to identify for those of you who want to learn more about David Wolf, uh, go to davidwolf.com. The book is called The Beauty Secret, 10th Color Texture, 407-373-5959. And we're going to have some more conversations. So I want to encourage you to go to whenyouneedafriend.com and check out the YouTube video with David Avocado Wolf. David, it's been such a pleasure to have you on the show. If there's one food that you were caught in the desert with, what would it be that you would take to the desert? What would it be? Avocado. Avocado. (laughs) Who wouldn't love an avocado? Amazing. Thank you so much, David. You are truly an inspiration to so many. And because you've taken your journey of truth, it's helped me have the freedom to choose with information that is accurate. So thank you so much. Fantastic. Thank you. Thanks for having me on the show. It's been a pleasure. Yes. And to you, my listening friend and my viewing friends, I want to encourage you to learn a new truth as well. And remember, I'll be right here waiting for you worldwide at whenyouneedafriend.com. This is Lillian McDermott wishing you love, peace, joy, and unexpected abundance. Make it the best day ever. ever. Good job. That's the best ever, ever. Okay. So let's continue this conversation. Let's talk about stress. You know, um, I just took your stress test on your on your website uh so for those of you who go to davidwolf.com and become just another follower that uh add to the following of david wolf um if you go there you uh can take a test to see how stressed you are and i was about to look at my results and i have to look and see if it says that i am stressed or not stressed but it's uh maybe it was sent to me but I did it's, it yeah, just right before to you. It, it was an email to me. I have to check it out to see. But, you know, the reality is that's the root of all disease, one of the roots. And um, many of it comes from unresolved childhood traumas, unresolved perce- perceived traumas. And, of course, as a life coach, I deal with that on a daily basis with people. And, you know, you, we got to start with ourselves. We got to chip away at all these things that 
we ourselves are helping others to do. So let's talk about stress real quick and what you recommend for people to um, adopt for themselves uh, to, to become less stressed in this world. One of the things we do in all our trainings, whether it's a retreat in Peru or wherever we're at or whatever we're doing, even online trainings, always are, it's one of our prerogatives. You get a measured one hour in nature every day. That is so important. We're mostly in boxes with corners and cities and all this other kind of stuff. You've got to get into those fractal patterns and sounds of nature. Birds chirping has a very strong effect on, on lowering anxiety and stress and decreasing depression. Now, that's number one. Number two is whenever you can, if you can get a long period away, like even a weekend away from the stressful environment, removing yourself from that environment is another key. A lot of stress is psychological, so working on meditation. Meditation is probably one of the best ways to become aware of how you are creating stress in your life. Right, because a lot of times it's psychological, where we, we're repeatedly putting ourselves into positions where we know we're, it's going to stress us out and freak us out. Stress is an absolute killer, as we know. Mm. More people die of heart attacks on Mondays. That tells us something right <laughs> there. You know, I I always say this is, you know, it's funny. I quote myself on the show, but I always say the body won't let you forget what the mind wants to neglect. We stay so busy, we don't want to hear what our body is speaking to us. But if we were to just be quiet, and that's the strategy of the brain, you know, stay distracted, stay distracted. So you don't have to listen to what the body has to say. But the body is like a, a reminder of what needs to change in our lives. So with that in mind, um, you know, when we are quiet, that's when uh, all these like, like, I can't shut my, I get this all the time. I can't shut my brain off. Well, maybe we should listen. So if somebody is having a lot of chatter in their brain and they want to meditate, they want to do yoga, they want to do all these things, but they have so many distractions, could, they, could it be that their body is speaking to them at that moment and they need to listen? Well, yeah, of course. And the way we deal with that, because it is very difficult to get that chatter shut off. I, I understand that. And mm -hmm. we do have a, a tried and true way that works. And you get them over the head. You're right. <laughs> with, with ice cold water. You take a bucket of ice and you dump it on the head. That's really the best thing, to jump into cold water, get into a cold ocean, dump ice water on your head, go into one of those cryo chambers and freeze for three minutes. That it does, has such an effect. That's one of the most effective methods for shedding off this chatter going on up here I've ever come across. So I recommend it now regularly. It's like, look, you, you can't shut this off. You need to go in there and jump into ice cold water, or get into an ice bath. And I guarantee you in one second, this is going to be shut off because you're going to go into survival. <laughs> you're going to be like, how do I not freeze here? And it's such a great way, especially if your daily routine, you're constantly dealing with how do I shut this thing off? I, I was in uh, one of these cold chambers in Amsterdam, which is my favorite place for that kind of technology. Okay. And there was a gal in there who just, you know, every day she's working her job and she goes there to clear her head, to clear. And that's why she was there. I was like, why are you in here? She said, I got to clear my head. I can't get shut off this mind. And I was like, wow, interesting. Because that's been my experience, ice cold water. Okay. So, okay. I want to dive a little deeper here with you because now we're not on the air. We're not, we're, we're, this is for your YouTube fans. Um, when the brain cannot stop, at what point do we just listen to what the body is saying as opposed to try to shut it down? At what point do we deal with these hurts or these um, unfulfilled desires that the body is reminding us? Is it good to shut the brain off at that point or do we just take notes, maybe dump everything? I love to journal. Me too. And In fact, it, I always have my journal right next to me. I put my journal. I have boxes, David, right boxes and boxes and boxes of journals. Yeah. It's, I was just thinking that actually, when you were saying that, this is one of the best ways to control stress right here is mm. actually writing out, getting it out of here, getting that chatter out of here and getting it down into here and then looking at it and going, does this make sense? Or can I create, because sometimes it's like a relationship issue, right? Like somebody's got a divorce or some, something's going on like that and it's just eating away sure. nonstop. This is one of the best tools we got right here. I agree. Journal it out. I agree. You know, I, when I was a little girl, I used to write love letters to God. And then when I was, and I, and I would fold it up and put it next to my nightstand. 
And I did that for many years. And I was growing up, I, when I was upset about something, I would write it, you know, a love letter to God, you know, to communicate. And I, you know, after a while, I, I would hear responses. And that was like my secrets, like, where'd that voice come from? And I would write it down. I would journal that too. And I would fold it up until in the year 2000, I was challenged to do a um, gratitude journal. And that's all I could, you could only write about things you're grateful for. And so I started writing a gratitude journal. And by the way, it's the greatest way to be able to fall in love with your, your spouse again. It's the best way to, to resolve issues is to be grateful for whatever is happening at that moment. Just my own little intake and insight there. But I remember in the year 2000, we were encouraged to, to do this um, gratitude journal that I realized, man, I've been journaling since I could write. That's so powerful. I, I really think that, you know, I'm, uh, my favorite phrase in this regard is someone who does not write is no better off than someone who cannot write. Someone who does not read is no better off than someone who cannot read. Mm. You've got to exercise your powers of literacy. Mm. And, that, and that part of that, a big part of that actually for me is you, you got to remain a perpetual student. So I'm constantly journaling, writing words I'm seeing that are interesting, phrases that are interesting, problems that are going on in my mind. I get it down and it, it helps you to manage your life. And a friend of mine is a very powerful scientist. One of the, he's one of the last great scientists in, the, in phenethylamine chemistry, which is a branch of chemistry. He's alive in the world. He might be the best in the world in that area. Mm -hmm. he, and he helped develop Intel computer chips and wow. big, wow. big guy in that world. Yeah. And he said to me that every successful person he ever saw, his whole career, his whole life, he's in his 70s now, always had a journal and was always mm -hmm. taking notes. I thought that was very interesting. Yeah. It's, it's, it's how I download my stuff. So yes, although it's nice to shut this chatter off, I also believe the body is speaking to us. The body will not forget what the mind wants to neglect. And so, you know, there may be a step before we shut down the, you know, the chatter, which is to, to hear what is the chatter? What, what can I shut down? Can I write it down? And then once I get it out of my body, which the body wants to get it out, it's like, you know, food poisoning, best way to get rid of other than charcoal, I understand now, is to just throw it up. And I, I just wanted to kind of get that, see how, how that worked with, with journaling in my life. Because it's always, journaling has been um, kind of like a secret thing that I do. Everybody else does yoga. I'm like, no, I'm journaling. That's my yoga. So That is a great yoga. That's a devotional yoga. Mm -hmm. And I'm with you. I, I, I was very fortunate, very young. I think in fifth grade, I had a teacher who started me into journaling. Oh. That's how I got into it. And I've kept journals consistently you know, since junior high school, all the way, I mean, I have whole bookshelves in my house filled with old journals, as I'm sure you do. And that's a neat a thing, box. isn't it? Yeah, it's very it, neat. It's in a box. They're in my box. And I've got like tons and tons of journals. And it, it, interestingly enough, I was made fun of for my journaling one time. I gave a talk on, on this. And, uh, and I remember because I, I hear a voice in my head that advises me. And I thought I was the only one until I, I um, did an interview with Neil Donald Walsh. And I realized there's other people that are hearing this voice in their head too. I had never heard of Neil Donald Walsh and let alone, you know, as a five-year-old or a, a 55 year old now, I, I well, now it, it's, it was, I, I interviewed him a while ago. And, um, and I was thinking, you know, I think that when we allow ourselves, like you, you're, a, a, you're so out there in the world and the only way that you could be so smart is that you allow the universe to speak back to you. Because if you go with just with what you know, that's just not enough. We've got to be able to get something from a higher source. I completely agree. And, and I do believe actually one of the biggest crises facing our world is people disconnected from higher source. Yes. That, that is a major core problem of the crises that we face as a civilization and connecting to the higher source. I'm a public speaker. I've done 3000 lectures around the world. Yeah. I mean, you know, you cannot just, just, you cannot all be memory, right? You yeah. have to actually go with 
what's coming through at that time and, and where the audience is. And it's a whole interactive thing, but you've got to trust in a higher power. You have to have faith and trusting in a higher power, having faith, listening to that inner voice, listening to that higher self mm -hmm. is, is a hallmark of success. Yeah, absolutely. And it, part of your stress and st overcoming stress techniques, because it's, it's, it's a world that we're so, um, technology is beautiful. It's wonderful. I can research anything at, the, at my fingertips. I can uh, socialize with people all over the world. But that touch that you talk about when you're farming, that touch when you're out there in the world and you're teaching and, and one would say preaching as well, you know, it's, it's amazing that we lose, we've lost that. And then we wonder why we're so depressed, why we're, we've lost touch with nature. We've lost touch with all these things. So I love the fact that being... Uh, the, part of your beauty diet is finding out what your de-stressor is, how you can de-stress the body. I love the fact that you, you've you given these three-day cleanses and one-week beauty jump. You remind me of, um, I interviewed, and you mentioned her in your book, I interviewed Sarah Gottfried and with uh, the diet that she does, um, the detox diet. And I remember going on that and many people couldn't even get past the giving up meat. I'm like, come on, that's so easy. Let's, let's just, just move on, move on with this. It's, it's, it's a difficult time when we have to overcome not only what we're being told, but our limiting beliefs that were established when we were a child. Well said. Yeah, I'm sure you, you I like the way you said that early on in the show of that, the programs of like our childhood do not correlate to where we are today. It supported you know, us when be, we were kids, right? Right. You were running that program at 10 yeah. years old. You're 50 now. What? Like that doesn't, it's not the same. You can't be running the same story. Um, one of the things you mentioned though on this, just about touch, I want to mention out of all healing modalities, worldwide touch is the number one selected modality for healing of all. Mm. And physical touch of another human being is a bit, also a lack of that is a very big part of our health crisis, mm. right? Don't, don't touch anybody. You can't touch that person. No, you don't, no. You've got to have physical touch, physical touch of loved ones and overcoming that resistance to touch. Get a massage. Get somebody to work on your skin. Get someone to actually do some, you know, treatments on your toenails and, and fingernails and, you know, pamper yourself and give yourself some kind of gift of yeah. some sort of touch. You know, it's funny. It's funny. I, people, because I do my own manicures and pedicures and once in a while I'll go and have it done. And it seems like every time I get my manicures and pedicures done for some, everybody's telling me their problems and I just, I don't want to hear it. I just, I, I, so I give myself my own manicure and pedicure because I'm just a happy little girl. I'm just going to do my own manicure, my own pedicure. But you know what? When I do get that treat and, and I do myself, you know, sometimes it's really hard to just, just sit there and receive, you know? And uh, some people want to tell you their problems because they know, you know, that you're a life coach or whatever, you know. And uh, so I have to protect myself as well. And that's how I do it. I give myself these little things that I cannot get from anybody else. And that's important. We need to love ourselves first so that we can give from a place of abundance. We can give love from a place of abundance. And, and I know you do that too. You, you, um, you practice what you preach. You walk the walk and talk the talk, as they say. And I'm so grateful. You know, I, I, I want to continue talking. I want to respect your time. I, I thank you for your time, David, today. And I did want to talk about uh, the, um, the signs of, of um, candida. And how you know you have that, but maybe if you have some time later on, we can do that talk. But let's for just now, do a, let's just do a quick thing. I do have a call I've got to jump on yes. to here in a second. But the, if you have thrush, right, white stuff in your mouth, white okay. film in your mouth, v vaginitis, or, or you're having yeast infections, chronic yeast infections, mm -hmm. if you have immediate sensitivities to wine or sugar of any kind where your, your body as a visceral reaction, you get a stomach ache or instantly your blood sugar is all over the place. Those are telltale signs of candida. If you have toenail fungus that you can't get rid of, um, if you, which by the way, <laughs> we can do a whole show on that at some point in my life, I think I'm going to open up a clinic that just deals with toenail fungus, <laughs> fingernail fungus. I do know how to cure that. Yeah. Um, yeah. When so I see, fun. when I see somebody with funguses on their nails or the, and they're dealing with dementia or, or problems, I, I want to say you're eating too much sugar. You're yeah. eating too much sugar, but it's more than that. It's more, it's more than that, but it, that is a part of it. Right. And so, you know, it's like, 
Rudolf Steiner used to say this. He said, you can't ever really treat somebody or anybody without looking at their overall karma. And, you know, what is, you know, what is their overall karma? What's the overall picture of this person's life and their whole beingness? And that's such a key thing for healing is just looking at your karma and be like, okay, I got here on a long road and therefore it's going to be a road out to heal. I can't, mm-hmm. so I can't expect something to happen overnight, right? That's your karma. You got to just know that about yourself and mm-hmm. you got to accept that too. And part of, part of this too with healing is accepting the healing path because a lot of people will resist, 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 and the pain will get bigger and bigger and bigger and yeah. the candida will get worse and worse and worse until you go, okay, I'm done. I got it. I'm, I'm done. Mm-hmm. And, and turning towards your healing rather than running away from it. And there's so many tools out there. Uh, again, I'm just, for, if you're dealing with candida, you've got to immediately cut that high fructose corn syrup out, any kind of candy bar, any kind of sugar of that kind, really even limit it, fruit sugar, but you have to have fruit as part of being happy and, and go for the berries. Berries yeah. are in that. It's a totally different kind of sugar. Really yeah. 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 You're and talking you're, processed sugars. Yeah. The processed sugars just it's deadly. I mean, it's really bad stuff. Yeah. And then, then we want to move our, our over to getting those fermented vegetables in like a real live kimchi or sauerkraut or, you know, we, we, I make one online with Donna Gates in five minutes with L plantarum, mm-hmm. uh, which is the most important of you the did one of those, those little things again. No, yeah. <laughs> L plantarum. L plantarum. Okay. L, it's like plant, right? You can think of a plant and mm-hmm. then arum, A-R-U-M. And that's mm-hmm. one of the most important probiotics for health and healing of all. So you, you can just start with just that one. If you're really seriously in trouble with your digestion and then you ferment your cucumbers and your maybe an onion in there and maybe you shred up a cabbage and we, and then we use, use apple juice and you put the plant term in the apple juice and you pour it in there and fill it up. We do that all online in five minutes. You can see it on YouTube videos. And that way you can really see, Oh, this is how I can actually heal myself. And I can do it quickly in five minutes. And then that way you, you can start to develop the skills necessary to, to move yourself out. And that is the thing that I love about what you're doing is you're there to support and help people to get to the, to that started because changing old habits, you know, the old habits do die, but they die hard. Yeah. And, you know, and people say, Oh, I'm going to die anyway. And I say, yeah, but how do you want to die? How do you want to die? There's a lot of people that I've seen die horrible deaths. Me too. And, and I've seen some people just die in their sleep. If I had a choice, I want to die in my sleep. I just want to just not wake up one day. That's, that's what I want. So I don't want to, you know, drown in my, my, my lungs or, you know, but anyway, that's just me. I just, that's, that's why I'm passionate about this too. Real quick, um, white spots on the skin. Mm-hmm. What is that a sign of? Uh, well, it could be, it could be um, there. It could be tinea versa color. So it's very common in like South Florida. It's very common in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Um, In Hawaii, they call it Howley rot. And it's actually a weak fungal infection of the skin, white splotches. So it could be that. Now there could also, it could also be liver spots. It depends on the situation. Typically if someone's like grown up in New York, all of a sudden they're in South Florida and they're getting this stuff. That's, that's Howley rot. That's tinea versa. How do you get rid of that? The best way to deal with it, in my opinion, is you got to cut the sugar out and cut off the, the triggers, the things that feed fungus, mm-hmm. which is like moldy food, yeasty food, sugary food. And then you got to put in antifungals and some of the best antifungals. One of my favorites of all, Powdiarco tea. It's delicious. You get hooked on it. You're like, this stuff's great. Um, I've been growing Patiarco trees now for 12 years. I love that. Plant. Where do we get that? Where do we get Patiarco? It's, it's available in every health food store. It's sometimes called Lapacho tea. You'll see it's there and it's always been there. It's very popular in health food stores and delicious. It tastes good. And just a piping hot tea of, of Lapacho or, or Patiarco with cat's claw, which is an antiviral. So Patiarco is antifungal, cat's claw is antiviral, cat's claw is also anti Lyme's disease. That combination is an ancient Amazonian combination, again, available in health food store. You can get that easy to make. You can get it as a tea bag already. You can get it. You can get the bulk herbs. Just throw those in there. I like doing bulk herbs because then you get a stronger tea out of it. Yeah. And, and then, you're, then you're working. Then all of a sudden, you've got some medicine against it. Now, no, one thing I do want to say, I wonder if I have it around me. I'm a very big fan of electronic medicine. Mm-hmm. especially for fungal infections and, you know, very bad infections that can go on. Let me see if I got, I'm trying to find my, 
little zapper here. I use zappers a lot, but you can get frequency generators. I'm gonna see if I can get one of these things out here for you so you guys can see this. Oh, here it is, good. Okay, this is, this is a little traveling zapper. Mm -hmm. So you can see it's turned on right there. Yeah. It's got two electrodes. So let's say I had a toothache. I can just put it right there on that toothache. Let's say I had a tinea versa color. So I have this white splotch. I'm like, what's that doing there? I could literally just go boom, put that right on that white splotch. And it goes after any organism that's trying to decompose you is susceptible to certain electromagnetic radiation, like what a zapper produces. Where do you get a zapper? Wave. All they're they're available online. Um, I I like Don Croft zappers because they're fun starter zappers. You can get them for like fifty to a hundred dollars or something, something in that range. Mm -hmm. Worldwithoutparasites.com, I think, is his site. Don Croft's been making these for years, and he was the guy who came up with the idea. Hey, let's miniaturize these things down so you can wear them on you. This is very powerful against Lyme's disease, by the way, because you're all we you can carry this on you. So a problem with Lyme's disease, herpes, hepatitis, is that when this stuff kicks on, Dude, by the time your body goes, you're just like blowing me away, David. So what is, what is is this frequency? Because I know pulse yeah. electromagnetic frequency. It's, I know microcurrent. It's th mostly yeah. It's most Mostly what the discovery is, frequency is important, and you want something in the range. Like this is 50, right now it's on 33 hertz. Um, but mostly you want something in the natural range, zero to 36 hertz. But the thing that's really important is the wave form. Like a surfer wants a, a nice good wave. They're not worried about the frequency. They want the shape of a wave. And the shape is called a square wave, which means it's on it's off it's on it's off 33 times a second in this case in this particular zapper wow. and and that true and pure square wave is good for healthy tissue your healthy tissue goes oh yeah we like this but unhealthy tissue goes what's going on we you know like necrotic tissue ne tissue that's been damaged by limes or tissue that's been damaged by fungus, like tinea versicolor. And so eventually this little, just something as silly as this right here actually is extraordinarily powerful as I've discovered over the years. And if you don't believe it, what you do is let's say you get an infection on your skin, you have a cut or something, put it right next to it, just like that. Just put it right next to where that cut is. Watch what happens in 24 hours. You're kidding me. <laughs> okay, well, I'll let that be the last lesson from David Wolf. David, you are an amazing man. Thank you so much. I hope that you can come back. And I, I mean, I'm, I could just sit here, sit at your feet going, tell me more, David. So <laughs> I really appreciate Lillian, it. Lillian, you're sweet. Thanks so much for having me on the show. It's been an absolute pleasure hanging out with you the last, we've been together an hour and 20 minutes. It's been wonderful. <laughs> It's too fast. Not enough, David Wolf. I'm looking forward to having you back on the show. And I want to thank my followers for listening to the end. And I hope that you enjoyed about the zapper information. Thank you, David. And we'll see you soon.